Hello guys and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. I am Rabbit Luigi and in this episode we are going to be doing Krasoa Shrine number four. This is not a good um, part of the game. It is not, it's not something I'm going to enjoy because it's not fun. It's not exactly what anyone would call. If this is your idea of fun, I would serious evaluate, seriously evaluate what you are thinking of doing with your life because this is not fun in the slightest. So let's just let's just go through this. Um, this is a slippy platform, a slippery platform, not a slippy platform. Um, that's something entirely different of a barrel keg. Okay, fine. We're gonna have to go get another one though. That's that, that's the hard thing. A lot of this is backtracking on slippy ice with enemies that respawn after a certain period of time. Um, this is this is the, I suppose you could you could call it the, I suppose you could call this the fine margins. Um, area of Krizoa place. I don't know. Basically, this isn't easy. This is not easy in the slightest. Um, put it down. Okay. Okay. That was a bit weird. Um, what we have to do is transport this barrel keg over to the side. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I just remember what that thing does. Okay. Okay. Focus. Now. This switch controls which fire is on at which point. The only problem is depth perception, basically. You can't really see... I guess you could follow the shadows. That's the only way I guess you could really do it. You should follow the shadows on the wall. Um, except when they're that far away, you'd have trouble seeing them. Thankfully, I think we've done it first time. Um, this is ungodly annoying sometimes, I'll admit. Sometimes this takes me way longer than it just did then. Quite a lot of this LP actually, surprisingly, has gone my way. Um, second episode with the test, your test of observation. Yes, admittedly, that really didn't go my way. Um, but it was fine, okay, because it worked out comedically. That was interesting. I forgot we had ice physics in this game. Whose idea was it to put friggin' ice physics on this Krizoa level? I'm gonna punch you in the testicles. Uh, okay, I remember what I have to be doing. Okay, okay. Um, it's going, going. There. Okay, cool. We could give it that. This is this is easily the hardest Grizzoa spirit thing you have to do. This test is easy. Test is I think I mentioned this before. Test of strength. It's like the um, Lightfoot challenge in um, Lightfoot Village, of course. But it's just so much easier. It's so much easier. Um, I think you're up against a couple of sharp claws instead. But it's it's so easy. In the middle. Down the middle. There we go. Bish bash bosh. Oh, that was that was surprisingly easy. I'm a bit disappointed. Here we go. Oh, test of strength. Test of strength. Here we go. Mash the A button, mash the A button. Oh, this is so difficult. This is so difficult. Oh, this is so difficult. No, it's not. <laughs> it so isn't. Oh, dear. How can people not... Find that really easy. I'm sorry. You, that, that wasn't even me at full button button mashing pelts. That was me fairly comfortable as well. So I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of that. <laughs> but anyway, Krizoa Spirit number four. We're looking wonderful. We have purple eyes again. I'm happy with that. Yes. Fourth Krizoa Spirit remains in your body. Krizoa Palace. Wunderbar. Happy days. All wonderful. Very nice. Very nice. Snow Horn Wastes. Snow Horn Wastes, everybody, we're back here. Welcome back to Snow Horn Wastes. Now, what I'm gonna do, uh, you might like this, is I'm going to cut. What the? What? I thought. What the? This game glitches out in the best ways possible. What I was going to say is um, I'm going to meet you back over by the, uh, what's it called, the, the th you know the thing, I just <laughs> nearly fell off again, god damn. I'm going to meet you over by the cheat token place. Yes, 20 scabs, cheat token, let's go. I've got money to burn, let's burn some money. Now, I didn't know actually that there was a cheat token place here, so there is just one more cheat token we need to get. There are five in the game, um, 
we are, we are going to have to cash them in at some point. Um, we shall do that um, at a later date. I think we should, it will basically be a bonus episode, um, pretty much. Um, but it's going to be sort of like a bonus episode within the LP because there is only a certain amount of time in which you can do um, the cheat token thing. Um, not to spoil anything, but it gets quite difficult to do such a thing later on in the game. If you know, if you if you played the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, at any rate, I will meet you back at Thorntail Hollow. See you then. Yes, here we are. We are back in Thorntail Hollow, but instead we are going straight to Krozoa Palace. Here we go. Krozoa Palace. You're going to Krozoa Palace, man. Yeah, man. Krozoa Palace, are we? Are you ready to go? To Krasoa Palace! I mentioned that I can't do a Scottish accent. Someone said just imitate the demo man from Team Fortress 2. That's all good, but he's still Scottish. It's no it's no different, you know, just imitate the demo from Team Fortress 2. That doesn't make it any easier, guys. It just makes it sort of more relatable, I guess. Because I'm guessing more people have played... Well, I'm going to guarantee more people have played Team Fortress 2 than Star Fox Adventures, but it's still Scottish at the end of the day. They're still the same accent. Well, I don't know about the same accent. Might be a different dialect within that accent, but whatever. Look at my shield. Ain't it wonderful? Purple eyes. Krizoa shrimp up at the top. Krizoa shrimp needs to be um, uh, delivered back to its home. And we also get to see another use for our portal device thing, uh, which goes in a hole up here somewhere. Get the portal thing ready get it ready on the Y thing, because we clearly need to use it more often. Um, I would have liked it if there were more items in this game which you did use more often. Um, if you just look through them, that barely gets used, that gets used a bit, not as much as you'd expect. This is barely used at all. Um, it's a little bit disappointing, but I guess if you have all these things, you can't use them all, all the time. I guess, you know, they're more situational items than anything else. So, I kind of get it, kind of bit disappointed. 50-50 on that one. But anyway, we have Krizoa Spirit number four, locked down. With glowy eyes, ready? Glowy eyes! Urgh. Which means we are two-thirds way completing this game. There we go. Two more to go. One more spell stone to go. We are near the end of the game, guys. Oh, it's going to be a sad moment when I have to say this is the last episode of Star Fox Adventures. I hope you've enjoyed this LP while it's been here. Um, we're not quite that close to the end, I'm just, just just saying, just saying, hope you enjoyed it. People who've watched it, all sort of 10% of my subscribers. I wish more people would watch it, but I understand why you don't. I'm just gonna, just saying. Anyway, here we are, back in Thorntail. Fox, my boy! Three spell stones down and only one to go! You seem to be getting the hang of this! Now then, it's time for you and Tricky to go to Dragon Rock, your toughest challenge yet. Dragon That's Rock! That's easy for you yeah. to say, but where do I find the gatekeeper? He is closer than you realize. He who has no voice has plenty to say. Now let's be honest. Um, if you wanted to help someone, if it was the fate of your planet at stake, if you wanted to help someone, wouldn't it just be more helpful to just tell them the solution rather than give them a riddle? Because that's a riddle. That is a riddle. He who has no voice has plenty to say. Now, I know this game for a fact. Um, I know who the person is we have to talk to, but surely as like a story thing, surely it would be more helpful to just tell you. I should have guessed there was something odd about you. The Warpstone said I should find you. I haven't spoken since something terrible happened. Something that I am ashamed to admit. I too attempted to save our planet, but I failed. Tell me, what happened? I led a group of dinosaurs against General Scales. He learnt of our plan before we could act and launched a full-scale offensive against us. We never stood a chance. He imprisoned three of my closest friends on Dragon Rock, and it is also where he has taken the Spellstone. So how did you survive? If Scales let you go, it could only be because... I 
am the gatekeeper. <laughs> When in fact, actually, it's not just him who's the gatekeeper. Shock of the game, everyone's a gatekeeper. I mean, come on. Come on, guys. You've got you to gotta be more awake, more alert. Okay, now what we do have is we have access to um, the final area in the game, the final spellstone in the game. But what I'm actually going to do is I will meet you in Cape Claw. Now, while we're still on the ground, I suppose we should still get some use out of this thing. Now, I think this is actually the last time we used the portal device, and it's been a good servant, hasn't it? It, it well, it hasn't really. It hasn't we haven't really used it a lot. We didn't really have a lot a great opportunity to use it. So, eh, whatever. Uh, what we do have is a cannon, and I'm fine with that. I love using a cannon. Cannons are my favourite language. Um, first time, what a shot! Over here we have, you guessed it, a bathroom dad, didn't know that, and a hole in the ground. Hole in the ground, um, it's unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on what you wanted, just a power upgrade. But, you know, it does give you the biggest power upgrade in, or the last one, in the game. So it's now pretty damn long. Look at that, that's rather rather long. Uh, yes, frankly. I'm, I'm pleased with that. The length of my magic meter is bigger than you, the length of your magic meter, um, and I'm proud of that fact. So, yeah, good. Good, 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 good. We are slightly out of time. This has been Rabbit Luigi. Um, this has been Star Fox Adventures, and in the next episode, we will be over back in Dinosaur, Dinosaur Planet, we will be back in Thornto Hollow, and we will be flying to the final area in the game, Dragon Rock, for the final spellstone, um, because the game just did that again, didn't it? It just stopped. Um, I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Take care.